Hi, this is Jim A., the Program Director for the Masters of Arts and Kinesiology program. Uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to first uh, change your profile so that you add a picture of yourself. We really like to see what you look like in the forum post and other places in our class, so that's one thing I'll teach you how to do. Then I'll teach you how to turn in assignments in the grad program and then how to post in a form and also how to respond to somebody in a form. So first things first, let's talk about how to change your picture or add a picture to your profile. So I'm in the class, I'm in a Moodle orientation class and we want to go over to my profile settings here on the left hand side and click that link and then in there you want to click edit profile and then my profile will come up and you can change various information in here um, like a couple things I would probably tell you to change in here is in the forum auto subscribe I would say change that to no if it's not already defaulted to no forum tracking put yes what that means is, well, let me talk about the first one, the forum auto subscribe. If you have that as yes, every single time somebody responds to a forum, you'll get email and you'll get tons of email. Um, and you don't want to do that. So turn that off. The forum tracking, that means that if somebody posts something new there, you'll see that there's been a new post. You can change your email up here to an email that you'll actually check. Um, and so you might want to do that. What I'd really like you to do is add a picture of yourself. Uh, there's two different ways that you can do that. You can drag and drop from your from your desktop over into this box. Um, so you would drop it like there and I could do that but that's how you could do that. Or you can just click into this box and then a file picker will show up and just like you would add a file to an email or something like that, you'd browse your hard drive, then hit upload. And I can do that because my pretty picture is there. And once you're done with that, you click update profile. And feel free to edit anything you want on your profile. Uh, and then this will bring you to all the classes that you are enrolled in. So to get back to your class, see on the left hand side it says navigation click where it says the class number in this class it's KIN 999 and that should take you back to your class home page when you're in your profile alright so that's how to add a picture and make some other changes to your profile next thing is how to turn in an assignment so in this class you're going to be turning in an introduction assignment so you click the assignment link that'll open up the assignment you do whatever that assignment tells you to do and you go down to the bottom of the assignment then you click add submission button click yep, where to go okay and so at the bottom of the page it will be the same kind of thing most assignments you're just gonna turn in as a Microsoft Word document like I talk about in this introduction assignment and same kind of thing you can drag and drop from your computer or you can just click in that box and then you can select your file. Browse, uh, look for your file, and then upload the file. And after you do that, you want to make sure you click Save Changes. And that will turn in your assignment to your professor. And uh, that should be good. I'm going to hit Cancel because I don't need to turn anything in. And typically how... I know how I give my feedback, but most of the professors, how they give feedback is that they'll write remarks within your Microsoft Word document, and we use rubrics, and so can be your feedback can be inside the rubric itself, or written remarks within the paper, or sometimes when you go to your grades, I, I won't have any grades, um, but then in the feedback section right there, the professor can provide you feedback here in your grades for your assignment. So how do we get back to my class from this from like this screen? We want to click uh, 
think these are called breadcrumbs. So you want to click the class uh, name, title, at the breadcrumb, and that will take you back to the class. All right, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to post in a form. So click on the form link. That's what this little picture looks is telling us. That's a form. So we click that. And so we want to add a new discussion topic. So we just click that add new discussion topic button. And you put your title, you know, whatever you want to call it about me. And then within uh, the form message box, we can do quite a few things. We can change our font type. So let's say, let's say I want to use Arial. Uh, you'll see that in my classes I'm kind of anal about the size of the font because this gets defaulted at eight points and it's too small for my eyes. I have bad eyes. So uh, I like to do minimum 14, 18. You can also go up to 36. So let's say it's 18. You can change the color there. You can change the shading. You can bold. You can underline. You can italicize. You can put in bullet points. You can put in numbers. You can move the increase the indent um, pictures so stuff like that so let's oops let's make sure I have my thing then type type your post you can also attach files uh, the maximum files is I'm not sure with students but for me it's three but I think it's my probably three for you and then you click the post a form, which I'm not going to do um, because I don't need to post it here. But that's what you would do is you post that to the form. And, and then you would see your post here. And let's say your assignment requires you to respond to other students' post. So all these are different posts from previous students. And so all these, uh, where it says discussion on this window, uh, and all these are the links to that post. So let's say I want to post to this particular student's post. I read it um, about this student. Then you hit the reply button. And then same kind of thing. We could increase, change our fonts and all that. We type in here whatever we want to say to that student then post a form. Again, I'm not going to do that. And then we have posted to another student. That, well, that's not what I want to do. I wanted to say one other thing with this. Uh, no, you have to pay attention where you're going to reply. So if I'm reading this particular student's post, Sarah's, and I want to respond to Sarah, I hit the reply button there. But if I want to respond to Margaret, I need to respond here. So it's common sense stuff, but I just want to make sure that you're clear on that. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, from here, that should be able to give you enough to uh, get through your first classes in the program to turn in assignments and post to forums. And then uh, I think from there, we're all good. Hope you have a great time in our grad program. As always, is if you have questions about your assignments, please ask your professors. Quite a few of them will have forums for questions about assignments. And then um, we're here to help you.